joined the band, I thought that Camera Obscura were a collective of musicians that uh, seemed to hate each other. Actually, sometimes I don't know if I like it, but it's like an obsession or something. It's like I'm, I refuse to give up. Then you gotta go. Collection of misfits. Six different people who were in the, together, whether it be touring or in the studio, and collectively things come together. I'd say it's mainly about two things, Tracy Ann Campbell's songs and Tracy Ann Campbell's voice and we're all there to make sure that those two things are uh, um, dead brilliant and stuff. I suppose I always think about it starting when I was at college uh, with John, even though we didn't have the name or anything then. We weren't camera obscura, but the idea was to be in a band, and he was very confident and outgoing, and I wasn't, so I thought, he's going to be the singer in the group. I'm going to write him songs and he's going to sing them. That was 93, it didn't really get up and run until 96, when we managed to actually convince people to join. Gavin joined, and then we had a couple of guitarists, I think. They left, and then we had Kenny. And that was around about 98, maybe. So that was the proper band, 98. Blah, blah, blah. Kenny is a big, lovable, um, you know, he looks a bit rough and hard and beardy and scary, but he's, he's, he's a lovely bloke. Very good guitarist too. Rarely early, but lovely with it. Nothing ruffles Kenny, or so it may seem. He's very reliable and sort of, uh, you know, he just gets his head down and gets on with it. Um, and nothing's ever a problem. Sometimes he can be a bit self-righteous, like your dad or something, but I guess that's half his charm. Um, diminutive. Um, attractive and uh, very nice voice. That's too hard. Talented. Lovely voice. Nice person. Lots of rocks. A gentle giant. Optimistic. You want to see the distress. My brother in rhythm. He's a very um, sharp dresser. Energetic, funny, fiery. He's quite temperamental, but he's also got a side to him that's very sort of fun. Mad as a hatter. Um, good guy, good guy, and uh, good drummer. Very charming. Diplomatic, a bit flash. You know, if you're sitting at a table with people you don't know, I always try and get next to Nigel because I know if I can't talk about anything, he will talk. This is absolutely true. Nigel saw the moon landing in TV. Quiet. Except when she's had a drink of Gary is like a little sweet kitten licking milk off a bowl in winter. 
She's very, very, very intelligent. She's very f funny and very quick and sharp and a lot of people don't get to see that side of her so I feel quite privileged that I do. For me, that track is the best track in the record, so it seemed quite natural to have the, uh, the, title, the title being the best track in the record. Obviously, I think the first thing that people think is that we, we absolutely hate it here in Scotland, and uh, that's what the, the album's referring to. Um, I'm not sure that's the case. I think it's just referring to um, our general collective disdain of um, our lives in Scotland and in Glasgow in particular. Uh, I could have always had a round joke about um, nobody really uh, giving a toss about Camera Obscura in Britain. I think it's, it's possibly just the fact we'd love to broaden our horizons, we'd love to get out here and actually uh, play our music all over the world.